This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of NASCAR Broadcasting. NASCAR would like to thank all of our loyal fans for your continued support, and we hope you enjoyed today's broadcast. Kaylee's graduation, but Bubba has been on the radio talking to General Manager Rick Wren and saying, I am hitting the splitter all the way through the corner. The oh, splitter, trouble. we got a trouble. David Starr looks like spinning on the backstretch. Oh, no, it looks like the 51 of That's Chad Hockenbra. One of Hockenbra, hard into the inside wall. Whew. And the first caution comes out. We've seen truck after truck try to spin out. I wonder if that was another deal where... I can't get it ended. I wonder if it's another. And once again, live events. I want to apologize for some of the vocabulary used. But... Oh, wasn't room there. He just went to go around the lap truck of Jennifer Jo Cobb. It was a perfect storm for him, or the imperfect storm, because the leader, Ty Dillon, was on the outside of him. He made the move up to go around Cobb and uh, wound up getting the air off of his right side because the leader was there and spun out and had a hard crash down the back straightaway. Yeah, such a... Hornaday deep into the corner is able to get ahead of Coulter and is going to bring Sauter along with him. He used the word groovy earlier. There's also bumps through the turns on this racetrack. Character. This racetrack has some character. Oh, oh and around goes Joey Coulter in the 18. Up into the outside wall. Two Kyle Busch Motorsports oh, trucks oh, oh, now hold break, hold having break, damage. Break. Hold the break. Oh, a great Hold job on. by the entire field getting by Coulter as well. He was running in the eighth spot. We're going to have to take a look and see if there was any contact made there, but it looked like it's that truck just went around on it. It looked odd, no, but dude, just... It just freaking like the... I don't... just freaking turn. Yeah, I thought the same thing. I thought it looked odd. You maybe he ended up having a soft tire or something like that. Might find out if that left rear is indeed... Well, he but... definitely... I'm not sure left that left rear, rear was up. down. Yeah, I'm not looked sure it was down, but it, it, but it was odd how that thing turned around. Now he had Johnny Sauter to his inside. Sunday after Cup drivers tangle in a Pocono, turn to speed for the ultimate post-race coverage and celebrate with the winner. NASCAR Victory Lane, live from Pocono that Sunday, right after the race, only on speed. Pit road is open, caution has come out. The 19 of Ross Chastain got up into the wall, and race leader Ty Dillon brings him on to pit road. For, take a look. He's up there already. Scrubbing along. Yeah, a lot of people have moved up the racetrack, and Ross was one of them. Got just a little bit too high. We saw it happen to Brennan. The battle's continuing throughout the racetrack and the field. Miguel Paluto still in front of the 60 of Dakota Armstrong, but Dakota with a good run now. And they continue to battle for the 11th spot just outside the top 10. See Ryan Blaney, the 29, moving to the high side, trying to get around Ryan Hornaday. That's a battle for the eighth spot. There's battles all over this racetrack. Look at Hornaday. He's been really diving hard down into the corner on that 29 truck of Blaney, but he just can't get the, fat, the pass pulled off. See the momentum that Ryan Blaney has from the top side, and he will take over that eighth spot from Ron Hornaday. So Blaney has eight, the highest running forward in this field. Look how Hornaday goes down in the corner, way deep. But then the momentum on the high side is able to propel Blaney ahead. Still in front, Jeff Burton has a half a second lead over Ty Dillon, then it's Matt Crafton, Ron Caroga, and Brendan Gaughan, your top five. There's the distance between one and two. Seven laps of racing remain. Look at Dillon. He said, I got to do something. He's getting smaller in my windshield. I got to move around. Really he goes up to the high side. No pressure. Nice and smooth. Come up on some slower lap traffic. <laughs> How about the nerves closing in on potentially the first win for Jeb Burton? We always see Ward around the racetrack. Always proud of his son. How about That's Tabitha? That's mom. Tabitha, that Jeb talked about trying to get this win for his mom. I think maybe Tabitha's birthday was tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. Ray Dunlap. And not only are they excited about maybe getting a birthday celebration, but I looked around the pit area here trying to find Ward. He's nowhere to be found. That's because he's up on the spotter stand. He said he's always too nervous during a race to be around the crew down here, and he doesn't want to mess them up. Ward's on the roof. Tabitha get ready to hopefully celebrate a birthday. Five laps remaining. Jeb Burton, the 20-year-old out of Virginia, closing in on his first ever win. Remember how he got this lead 
couple of the first re the first start of the day, spun his tires, fell back. The second one a little bit better. The, the, that last one, he nailed it. But look at Dylan. He's not giving up. He's also closing in. He's gone way up to the high side, and he's making ground on the young man. He gained a couple tenths of a second the lap before this. See what he does this lap. I think it's another couple of tenths. Trying to use the momentum off the eight. We saw Jeff Burton in the four also go down low, trying to get behind the eight of Max Gresham, get a little bit of air off of that truck. I'll tell you, Ty's coming now. Another two tenths of a second that last lap by. He's gone to the very high side. I'm sure Jeb Spotter's reporting to him where Ty's running, and it's it's working for Ty. Is there enough time remaining? Coming out of turn number four. There's Ward Burton on the left. Three to go. Daytona Three. 500 winner. Three laps remaining. Jeb Burton now just a half a second in front of Ty Dillon. Another two cents of a second that lap, Mikey. This is how you want to win your first race with a truck like Ty Dillon chasing you down, but. Man, it'd be much better if you had a straightaway lead and there was the white flag was in the air. Crafton looks as though off the pace just a bit. That's a battle for third. Comes up, moves to the inside, trying to take that third spot away. Outstanding run by Herman Caroga tonight. Love seeing Martin. this. Truck has been extremely strong. Inside of two laps to go. Half a second separating our top two. Last time by, Dylan's faster again than Burton. Way up the racetrack, the 19 of Ross Chastain. Look at there, he's a couple of truck links is all it is, Phil. Look at Ty Dillon blowing dirt. Up Trying in the groove that no one's running and he's closing in. Trying to keep that momentum right, up. Right. This time by, white flag in the air, one more time around. And Ty Dillon has closed the gap now. Ty Dillon can feel it now. He knows he's getting close. What a great job by Joey Coulter right, up three. out of the way. He knows those guys are battling for a, a win in Texas. Doesn't get much bigger than that. Jeb Burton, just three tenths of a second in front of Ty Dillon the last time they went across the stripe. Ty Dillon goes to high side. Burton down low, looking for his first win. Coming out of turn number four. Jeb Burton's going to hold up Ty Dillon. Burton wins to Texas. They push. You guys are awesome. This is awesome right here, bud. I told you we were coming to my house. They talk about them drivers and ain't them drivers. Proud of you, boys. Thanks for all you do. Oh, the job, guys. Damn, y'all good. You remember how emotional. You and the man, do, the, do that burnout you've been wanting to do. Great job, guys. You know how emotional Jeff Burton got when he won the polls already this year. He's won three polls. And it brought tears to his eyes, the magnitude of what he was able to accomplish. How about dad and the celebration? That's Stuart Cooper right there with Turner Scott Motorsports. I bet you that feels better to him than it, than it did when he won the Daytona 500 himself, watching yeah, his, his son. son win. <laughs> and Tabitha <laughs> celebrating with Mike Hillman Jr. And let's hear from him. He's a great. This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of NASCAR Broadcasting. NASCAR would like to thank all of our loyal fans for your continued support, and we hope you enjoyed today's broadcast.